In Pakistan's Khyber Agency, a military operation has driven an estimated 250,000 people from their homes since the beginning of this year. According to the Pakistan Humanitarian Forum, many of these families are struggling to find shelter, and nearly half of those displaced aren't registered, which means they'll have a hard time getting aid. Aid workers also report not only the struggle for food and health care, but the psychological effects of displacement. FSRN's Janine Eder reads for our reporter in Pakistan, Gabe Matthews. It's midday, and hundreds of people gather for registration and food distribution in Jazolai Camp, near Peshawar. It's a chaotic scene, and especially difficult for those in need of medical care. Nazma Hussein is a health worker at the camp. An hour ago, she found a young pregnant woman going into labor. These uh, gathering in this in this crowd, um, uh, they have pushed them on the floor, and um, that uh, patient uh, going to um, labor pain. And we refer them um, her to um, our uh, MCH center, and she delivered there. Nazma Hussein has worked in the camp for the last four months. She says pregnancy and child rearing makes life even more difficult for displaced people. The women from uh, tribal areas uh, means the uh, old and new IDPs both have the problem of uh, family planning. They know about that, but they, uh, there is no facility here in camp for them. And they want that such type of facility must be here for them, that they may uh, um, start their fam- family planning program. No yes, problem. yes, they want to reduce their uh, children. Therefore, they want the family planning facility. According to a survey from the Pakistan Humanitarian Forum, about 80% of families have little or no access to health care or medicine. These families depend on the minimal income husbands and sons earn doing daily wage labor. After a 10-hour journey from the tribal areas, another family reaches the Jizolai camp. The family consists of 10 members, including children and women. 45-year-old Zargula is head of the family. She says they had to leave their home in order to save their lives. There was heavy firing on us, and the bullets fell on our home like hail. Some huge firing made a hole in the earth and demolished houses. We have passed through miserable times, and even now we are in trouble. My children are fasting, even though it is not the month we usually fast, because we don't have anything to eat. We are extremely poor. Zar Gula knows she won't be able to get a tent today as she arrived late. Her family will stay with others already established in the camp. Humanitarian experts say more than one in ten displaced children suffer from psychological distress. Some are concerned this could lead to youth joining militant groups in the tribal areas of Pakistan and Afghanistan. <laughs> Humanitarian experts say more than one in ten displaced children suffer from psychological distress. Some are concerned this could lead to youth joining militant groups in the tribal areas of Pakistan and Afghanistan. Eight-year-old Alima stands quiet and nervous near her tent. She's pale and seems traumatized. She's here with her parents and six sisters. The firing was very close to our house. Five or six men died in one place, while seven died in another place near our house. I saw them, and they were buried in the field near our house. None of the men were my relatives, but all of them were from neighboring villages. I heard heavy firing and also sometimes low firing when we were leaving our home. According to the United Nations Refugee Agency, more than 400,000 individuals are registered at Jalozai Camp as internally displaced persons. Out of these, about 70,000 live at the camp. The rest stay with families in nearby homes. Faiz Muhammad is chief coordinator of Pakistan's Disaster Management Authority and in charge of Jalozai Camp. He says that the fresh massive displacement is a great challenge. Pakistan is already in, in a place of, you know, in a state of emergency. And we are fighting this militancy and this uh, terrorism since long. And that has really depleted our economy. We are barely living up to the standards of our economy and serving people. So this displacement is an addition to that. 
and that cannot happen with international without international support and for that we are very very honored and very 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 thankful to the international community who have responded so swiftly and so quickly to Can this emergency face says the united nations is a major donor while other countries like the united states saudi arabia and united arab emirates are the other major contributors but he says the aid is not enough for the massive number of displaced people who struggle for basic shelter, food, and health care. Government officials expect the IDPS will have to stay at this camp for more than a year while the military operations in Kabir Agency continue. Reading for Gabe Matthews in Jalozai Camp in Pakistan, I'm Janine Etter.